Have some onion and thing in the pot, day. Yeah, morning, everybody. It's morning. Um, we ain't going to do today real time for the past couple of days, so we take a little rest today. Thank God, I like We're making yeah. some, um, what? Today, I'm making a, um, something a little different than what we just normally cook. I'm making some. Some soya sauce. Yeah, yeah, that's how. Hey, come over there. Come over there. Okay. One side is cool. I'm going to get a book and start here. Yeah. So, as like I was saying, this morning we're going to make some um, soya sauce chicken neck. And we're making a rice and lentil cook up. Yeah. Now, who don't know about that? They will learn to tell you something, right? So, right now, I have some. Um, Add some lentil cooking here, check it out. Add onion, garlic, um, pimento, and hot pepper. So far, right? Mm -hmm. And get the lentil flavor. Add some salt and um, some salve, right? So let me just check it out here one time over here. Let me make sure. Alright, so this lentil good already. And you're leaving it with the sauce, right? Because we're going to do something different with that. So we have the onion, garlic here frying up. Right there, it's not looking real nice. Yeah. Right, so we go in and chunk it this inside of here. Alright, the reason why I chunk it now is because I want it taste to be different. This is gonna be your, your rice and lentil cook up, eh? This is gonna be your rice and lentil cook up, so we're gonna chunk it. Hmm. How it smell when you chunk it? That smell real good. And now they watch out that pot bubbling already now, boy. Yeah, we're going to talk to them, they are coming here. Are you seeing that? Well, I didn't know what David was making. I just get up and I say, what are you cooking me? He said, I'm making some lentil and rice and chicken. But I first time I seen, he chunking lentil and things like this. Yeah, well, it's a, um, a lentil rice we're going to make. And, uh, um... You know like how your dal and rice cook up your kitchi and then you can also do it with lentil as well. This was a menu that my mother used to cook for me when we were small. So it's something, but when you're done boiling lentil, you have to chunk it. It's got a nice oily flavor taste now, boy. Right then, so it's boiling. Well, remember your lentil had to boil like three quarters away. So my, I put my lentil about uh, about 45 minutes ago. Eh? So I don't want to come in and howl. just watching lentil boiling now, boy, you know. But I'll tell you what I do with the lentil. So you have to be real. You have to be real cautious when you're making a rice and lentil cook up because everybody are custom. You put everything like how hard for before in the pot and then you just throw in your rice and you boil down. This one different. Right? I just add jira and thing in this, which I'm gonna do now. Right? But before we do that, let me chunk it on this one here. So we're doing the same thing here. As I say, I make it no harm. Get out. Um, 
ferment one thing in it, but we wanna add it as yet, right? I don't want it to, to get kinda brown yet. I want to take my time with it. Because it's a different way of cooking something now, but right? So you're gonna learn how to make a soya sauce chicken today. You can make it anytime you feel to. It does go with anything like good with rice and um, anything like with rice and peas and things here. Or you, you boil in a little macaroni and you want to make something other than stew. You're going to learn how to make a soya sauce chicken today, right? I'm going to teach you the secret food to be filled with, right? Now your, your meat has to be cool. Right? You so saw my meat is here. I want to throw this inside the oil to fry up, right? I'm going to explain that in a little bit here. Right, you see how it frees up the other gates and the lighter. You don't want... Now this chicken season up with everything, right? But I, I make mine overnight. Because you don't want the chicken... You see like how we kind of little freeze up, kind of tow. We kind of avoid lighter. I will explain that to you. Yes, now I'm going to turn up this here and make sure I'm getting inside here. Right, so when you're making soya chicken, right, you make sure the meat a little, a little, a little frozen, not too much. Like you take it over my fridge and then as well as you take it over my fridge, you chunk it. Mine had a little ice in it, but it was too hot, right? But the reason why when you chunk it, that oil and the, the, the coldness that's mixed together with your green seasoning and then, and you just create a kind of, how to say that blend, boy, is a kind of, uh, um, how to explain that flavor? How to. Alright, it's giving me that good flavor. The coolness and the oil, when that bongs together, it is. The cold, the heat and the oil itself is like kind of get up inside the chicken. So the oil itself, the oil hot and you are cool. So when you put hot and cool, mix it together, it will make a nice. The oil, everything hot, so it will kind of go up in a kind of. No, hold on. It will make a kind of. Um, it will make a kind of. a flavor. Right? And that is where you want. So you have to chunk it it's a little cool. Right? You don't want to chunk it. Chunk it immediately like um, hot now, boy, because your meat will be hot and that hot. So you don't get any flavor. When it's cool now, the heat absorbing the coolness and sucking out your coolness and getting into the meat. And that is where you want. That is why I put it on water and we slow it down the heat, right? Because you want this to cook down a little bit. Yes, I know it might be making no sense, but if you try it, then you're going to know, right? That is the only way to know, right? If you try it, then you will know, right? And this is how we make a um, um, uh, soya chicken today, right? But this is the way I learned to make it. Now, I didn't learn this from my mother. I learned this from the Chinese man I used to work with. And he teach me how to make this, right? Now, I know Chinese people always always other food in the fridge and cooling and wherever it is. So, I learned this from him, right? I don't know. I see he doing it, so I do it too. And this is relevant, right? And I learned something too. So, here we will come back in a little bit. Um, let us boil on our lentil to boil on a little bit of the oil and the hot chunk. Get down a little bit here, and let us dry down a little bit, and we will come back. And when we come back, we will get on to show you what next in the kitchen, right? What do you think? Yeah. Right. So um, we will go and we will come back in a little bit. Bye. Got everything still to dry and all them. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. So, again. Bye. 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 Everybody, welcome to the channel. All the new subscribers, welcome. All the ones that are always there with me, welcome. Thank you, and thank you for the support. Well, keep supporting the channel, keep helping out the channel, and we go see all in a little bit. When I come back, I will share how this food will come out today, right? So, again, everybody, welcome to Trini's Lime with David Shine, Pinky, and Sammy. And we home today, we tired, we real walk, we tired. Had to take out the rest of the back, can't make it again, right? So, you know, the thing does be. Anyway, we go see all in a little bit. When we come back, I will share one next. We're going to do this part, right? Shine, we have to say. Well, all yeah, the quite on the kitchen smelling nice. This one, it's smelling real nice. And early morning, I was only about half seven. Yeah. So we're doing things early this morning. Early, I'm early. And watch some TV today. Yeah. We're coming back in a little bit, and I'll go see one next, right? Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Tell them bye, son. Morning. Alright, so all yeah, welcome back. Right, and we have the lentils still boiling now, we ready? Right, so now we're going to add some roasted jira. Now let me explain this way before you say what I'm putting roasted jira for, right? Now, the lentil have heat is, but the rice have no taste. Right, so we're going to add this jira to blend in together in the rice and the lentil. Now the lentil already have a taste. 
Now, if you boil lentil just so you go get mash up, you go have a taste, right? But rice, if you boil rice, it's just rice. So we add in this jira to make the, the, um, the rice gain our flavor into the lentil, eh? right? Yes, it might sound well. It might taste good, I don't know. We go see. Shyan, first time shy and trying this one, and tell. Yeah. So I make something a little different today in the kitchen. What time I hear about this one? Well, you know, everybody had their um, knife. Normally, I just, when I have leftover lentil, I just fry it up with rice. Right, so, and you're adding some ginger powder, right? The guitar mix? Yes, chira and lentil, wow. I was just saying this man crazy, but the taste. That is what I want, the taste, right? So let me taste it and see if I have enough. Right, Shai, how are you? To try it and tell me how it is. So people go know the truth now, but there we go. Try it. Take some from the spoon and try it. Tell me how the taste is. Eh? It tastes good. It's like a doll. No, but how it tastes. Yeah, but this is real nice. Try it. See it? So something new all I learned in the kitchen today. Let's try it, eh? Let's try it for real. How are they saying? Right, let me go back. Let me go back. Good. Let me go back. Right. So, let me tell you the reason why I use these three ingredients. Now you could use any all purpose you have. If you are Maggie, wherever, all purpose. It have to be all purpose, eh? You have to use the roasted jira. You have to use this one. No, no, whole grain, not even neighbor jira, you're using this jira. And you have to put ginger powder in it. Right? You have to. These three main ingredients are, are and with salt. With salt, right? But we add no salt. I put salt already in the lentil. So when I add any rice now, if it needs salt after, I will add, but not add anything else. Right? No green. No green seasoning, nothing like that. If you have banana, you can put some. If you have side, you can put some, but no green seasoning. Right? It is kill the jira taste. You don't understand what I'm teaching, right? So, Shai, you know, try it. How will you find this? In? I find that for the first time I'm trying it, it tastes real good. Right? So, we add in brown rice, right? Not white rice, but brown rice, right? You want the rice to get a flavor, right? That's why it is flavor rice. Right, this one of my mother old recipe that well I think she mother teach it. She never tell me how to teach this one, but it's an old recipe. You want to just cook down with the water jira that will leave the sauce. <coughs> right, that's how I leave the sauce so the rice right, will get the flavor of the jira, right? See it? Check it out. Alright, let me just let me taste it back and make sure. Right, so now we're going to add some pimento in it. Now you see the reason why it's always tell all the cut up everything fresh over all the pot. It, is, it doesn't want to lose the teas. That is the reason why I always just do this. You do I now I telling you, my mother, grandmother, father, all of them just cut up like this over the pot. Right? You see when you see a cooking food, it's lost. It is as lost. And plenty of people don't understand that. They say, I will do it my way. But, the way food tastes good, you have to do it the correct way. That will make your food taste good, right? But I mean, everybody has a preference, so you know. Me on the curry with nobody, I'll do all the thing all the way. Right? So this one, you know, come to me here. Go so, I'm going to get the ham. Right. I will just show them the pot I will look at what are they looking over here? Right, so now we have some dark soya sauce and we're going to put in some inside of <laughs> So this water now, remember I tell you earlier on you have to freeze your meat a little bit, right? Make sure your meat cold, it has to be freezing like my one, eh? Yeah, but make sure it's cold, you leave it about a couple of hours or something in your fridge, right? Now this dark soya sauce is going to blend in and drop in this. And that is what you want. Right? I use chicken neck because that is what I have today, right? So if you are your, your nice chicken or whatever the case may be, you can add it in. You know you cook what I call the only way you could afford, right? I cook in what I can afford. 
Me and no complaints. No regrets, no nothing. Now you can add in a tomato. No, I wash it twice. Ain't nothing. Ain't something is up. Can't have eggs with nothing. And? Yeah. Right, add in a little tomatoes. Um, pimento. Now I have pepper from the garden, so I just add in, right? There's the last picking on it, so I just add it in, right? Hey, leave him. Add in some, um, now I add green seasoning, bang, and you're thinking, so I here already. So I don't need to add that again, right? Just add in some scythe. Right? You know, a lot of people just try my recipe or let's try it. I guarantee the food will taste good, right? If it don't taste good, tell me it don't taste good. But I know it tastes good because I make it many times. You know, and I should keep my thing. You know, always cooking things I learned from small, right? If all it could have smelled in two pot, how it's smelling, eh? I think the sauce in this drying down a little bit too, eh? Yeah, let it dry now, man. Don't worry yourself about that. And then make sure and let it dry down a little for the um, giraffing to, to blend in, eh? Right? So you give this a little mix up now. So the friendly meters. Yeah. Now, people let's make this stew and thing. You don't have to. Let's get filled up sometime or something all the time. Right, that's why I just make different thing. I just carry the same food. I mean, I can eat like rice and curry chicken every day. But other than that, nah, boy, I have to get different thing, right? It's how nice that looking. Check it out, there. Let me just take a taste. Mm -hmm. It adds salt and thing, right? So we add a little ginger powder. And we add a little bit of um, all purpose season, right? I go tell ya, how my mother tell me about that thing we go take now, you know, and they put some water in it. So. Yeah, the cracky dry, you know, they for you. Yeah, I come in, man, don't worry yourself. So what you hear that? Come in. I wait to dry. You smell any jira, you know? I wouldn't lie, you know, you really smell any jira. Yeah. Right, so check it out, you know? So nice, that looks skin. I can't wait to sit down and eat this. <coughs> Papa hot too. Mm -hmm. Right, so you wait, just take the bottom of the pot. Now you add your water. You're not adding too much of water. Okay, all the rice to get soggy, right? So we're going to add one more bowl and we're going to put it on slow it and let you take your time and cook. Right, so all you know about dal and rice cook up, kitchen. Now all you know about lentil. Lentil cook up. That could be a lentil kitchen. Me and I just come up with that name. Yeah, well, that could work too. Hmm. Right, so that's enough there. Let me just throw some salt in it. Like you finalize food eh? there. You don't have to pass so many in that food, boy. Right, I'm gonna salt in this one. Not too much because it has soya sauce in this, right? So you don't want to over burden your chicken there. Nice, you'll be eating a salty food. And you ain't want that. Now you want a nice chicken coming along too. I'm sure they're a little close, huh? People must really say, I wish I was living my day and I didn't eat all them food that we make it. Yeah. Yeah, well, all they come like all they live in here because they're learning the recipes. I'll go tell you about our rice just now, huh? And this, this we'll add some water and then they cook it down. Hey, and I have water boiling away here. Well, make your tea, let people see you making your tea and I'll go talk. Right, so let me go. Make it, make it, you go ahead. Right, so let me get a spoon. Right, now somebody, somebody that asks me how we just make, why we just make tea in a pot. Well, let me tell you something. Tea in a pot does taste better, 100% better. Right, so when I make it all the tea, make all the tea in the pot. Don't ask me why this tastes good, it just tastes better. Right, so I'm going to try and put chicken and smell, we'll show you how we just make tea. So a lot of people asking how I just make my tea, right? 
No. I'm not making no saffron tea today. That's normal tea. Milo tea. Milo tea. So what I just do? Yes, warm the water. Yes, put your condensed milk first. For the whole thing because we're not adding milk and we're not adding sugar to this. Right, so let's go come like a nice little sweetness there. Right, and make sure you don't waste the condoms. Okay, scrape out everything from inside side of here. Right, so I'm doing that right now. And I have a motto in this house here. If you waste anything, go and find a walk and buy back. That's how I just operate. I don't like to see nothing wasting because when I was growing up, you couldn't waste nothing. Uh, yes, we're making a big pot of tea because everybody in this house drinking tea now. Yeah, Sammy, Pinky, everybody. Right, sir, so just been on. Now, wash your tin first before you do that, eh? Yeah. Don't go and do that, eh? Just so you know. My tin and them will be nice and clean. Yeah, don't wash your tin and then have a day. That's what I'm saying, I hear still. Alright, come out. Sammy. Right, and you're mixing it in inside the water, let melt. And get nice and milky. Yeah, have a tea. Right, so if you don't do that, you'll get lumpy milk in the honey type when you're drinking your tea. So you gotta make sure it's blending well. Yeah, we just drink real tea, eh? Mm hmm We ain't playing that. And you see how nice and hot the smoke coming up on it? And because the rain fall in. So this tea will go nice in that weather. And yeah, now instead of fall, it fall in, stop in, fall in, stop in. Fall in, stop in, stop in. Right, and some Milo. Milo. Yeah. Right, so I added enough because everybody in this house, they like Milo tea as well. Are you getting hot beer, hot beer? Hot beer for? Hot beer, it's too hot. Okay, I'm going to mix it. You like cool a little bit and you drink okay. out. Exactly. And that is it. And tea that says better in pot. Yeah. Right? Right, so hold back the camera there. Eh? Let me tell them something about that rice there. Eh? Yeah. Right, and that is it there. First tea. Right, good too. Yeah. Nice pot of tea there. That cool on there. How much we gonna drink? We gonna drink three quarter of that. Yeah. And Sammy and Pinky will drink all the rest. <laughs> all my messes are with that big container with that I'm drinking now. Right, come here and I'm gonna add the water and then. All of it. Right. Come to this pot and this pot in the water, right? So I'm gonna show them how we're looking in. Take a nice pity out of it. Okay, no people like to see the pity at the end of the show. Right, let me get a turn and then you go take over that pity, right? Yeah. People like to see the potatoes at the end of the show, the food was looking now. Man. So they get hungry, right? And watch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope they make all them hungry because right, we just, the quick. Because we just eat as fast as we cook in. Right, so now we want to add a little water to cook down in it, eh? Nothing too much, it's good enough. Now put a little more because we need a little sauce. And try and go and make some roast tomato as well. Mm-hmm. Let's go, let's go. Me you know every time I'm making Rice and dal or anything, I just had to have a tomato stroker to this side. Right, so let me go to this here back again, right? Now, listen to me, if you have coconut milk powder, you could put it inside here, you make it taste 100% better, right? Now, <laughs> I too lazy to go and do that right now, right? But if you have, you could put coconut milk powder in this, and it will taste perfect. Now, remember, as I tell you, the reason why I put the jira because you had to get your rice to get a flavor, right? If you put the coconut milk, you will get a, 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 a milky flavor, but you still wouldn't get a nice taste in the rice. And you want the rice, because when you boil dal and rice together, how it does taste? Not real nice, right? Yeah. But lentils do have that kind of taste. Dal have a different type of taste. You know, it have a, a real, dal is blend with everything, but lentils don't blend with everything. So that is why you just put the jira. That is what my mother teach me. She said dal you can make you can make dal and rice and anything and that that dal will with anything. Roti, rice, dumpling, anything dal is blend with. Yeah. But when you boil lentil, it don't blend with nothing. It's only stew chicken you go blend with. Or if you're making like a a, a, a lentil piece peel out, you go blend in with that. Cause it's stewing. Yeah. But lentil do have a like a, a, a flavor to blend in. So that is why she does add the jira. Now, when she used to make this, it never used to taste good, eh? When we were small. It used to be a rice and lentil boil up. And she throw a little onion and garlic and thing. And that day, she, um, she was making jira or something, I think she was making. And she ended up talking. She was talking. And she ended up throwing some jira inside of the pot. By mistake again. 
So most of the food that she created was by mistake talking in pen. Mm -hmm. she was studying somebody's business, I don't know. <laughs> and I, said, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. I was small, right? I wouldn't know. But she said that is how it happened. So she said she threw in the jira. I don't know if she was making dal or something or whatever she was making. I don't know. I can't say. I can't tell you I was small. But she said she ended up throwing jira in the pot. And when she showed the grind jira in the pot and she turned up, she said, well, if she don't do it, she can't throw the pot of food because them days was hard. And when the food come down, uh, perfect, perfect. So jira, if all they making lentil, and all they making anything with lentil, and all they want to make different meal. Now I have different meal with lentil that my mother teach me and my grandmother teach me. So if all you want to see it on this channel, or like I continuously subscribe and watch. I have thing I can do with lentil that you will never do like this. You will never think about doing that. How it is, Shine? It's real nice, right? So I tell you, my food is is good. You don't, have to, you, don't have to, you don't have to see me cook it. If you want to come and try it and tell me cook it, I cook it and show you. It tastes good. Right? But sometimes mistakes, as always tell her that. Mistakes is make things taste better. Yeah. So you know how to learn an next recipe here. Yeah. So that is, that is how we just make. Well, I never make it for Cheyenne here yeah, because Cheyenne always more rice and dal cook up. Yeah, and yeah. When we make it, we just make, normally make a, a lentil piece peel or something now, boy. Yeah. You know that how normally we just cook. So I say, you know, this morning I feel into that boy. I feel into something with Jira. So I say, you know what? Let me make that. And this chicken, you know, I learned from the Chinese man who I used to work from. Well, he, like, it, all right, let me tell you this. When you go in and check in the um, Chinese shop, you realize you don't see the neck, you don't see the foot, you don't see the liver, you don't see the gazelle. They don't throw it away. They just make this with it. They just fry it up in soy sauce and put it in dumpling or put it in soup or wherever it is. So you learn something again. They don't throw away that. That cooking for them. And the chicken that you're buying, the leg and the breast and the thigh and whatever, that going for you because you're paying for that. And the neck and the foot and the, the even the head, they just clean it and they and cook it too as well. I will show you later in my, my, my video how they just clean the chicken head and they just cook it as well, right? Because this is good. I eat it. I wouldn't lie. I eat it. He teach me when I was working with him, right? I was working there part time when I was going to school and I learned a good few things from him. So it's something. I know he food this is good because I, I learned from him and I, and he's always say you don't need plenty thing. You don't need much thing to get a good pot. You just have to know what to do. You uh, understand? So that is the way how he does make this, right? But he always use the time to make sure they meet cold. Because when you throw cold and hot, it just blend, the flavors just blend together. So that's why they always have it. If you go back to China, man, you always see noodles in the freezer, rice in the freezer. When they fry the chicken and they get in the freezer or in the fridge, the chiller. You always see that. And you'll be one night, but why are you putting nine on that day? Because they say when cold and hot bumps together and you cook it, it tastes real good. So I learn something. So whenever I'm making this one, make sure your meat cool. Make sure it's cool. So when you throw it in your oil and your garlic, I think that, that heat fighting that coolness. So it, it blends in the, the food together now. So I hope you learn something there. I hope you like what I'm teaching all you. Because as I say, I learn a lot from people and I just share with all you. And my mother teach me this rice. Um, I don't even know what to call it. I, I, I don't know how to say jira rice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. The dust. How is morning dust raised now? So sign is kicking up. So excuse me. Yeah. And I just kick up the ice. Can't help myself. Anyway, I don't know what to call it, but how you find this when you taste it? I find that taste real good. I right. need to try it. And when we sit on my table, all you go see, right? So we have nothing else to really do. Let's try. Oh, shine on roast tomatoes. Roast tomatoes, yeah. But we will come back and we will show you the two parts we're looking when it's done. And then we will head to the table. Yeah. Where they? yeah. And I have a topic today, you know. I got up with no back and all thing, you know. Nah, 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 nah. My topic. Nah, this topic is nothing about you or nothing about me. It's nothing like back and all, isn't it? Yeah. It's something that everybody will like. And trust me, this is more for the fellas. This topic will be more for the fellas, right? Yeah, for so sure. When I hit the red table, we will talk about that. So, fellas, are they getting ready? I hope all they're ready and I hope all they know because I know and I ready to give all it how it is go, right? It's nothing more no, no, no bacchanal. It's just something that fellas like. So all the, all the fellas that are watching this show, all they get prepared for when they hit that red table because all they want to enjoy this, this topic to the half all right? You know me, when I come on my show, it had to be excited, it had to be enjoyable, it had to be educated, children friendly, and as well, you have to enjoy the show. All the don't forget that again, I always tell all the, all the support with channel, right? All the support with channel, we just put a lot of effort into this channel. And we can't do it without all the support in we. Because not everything I can do. You understand? I'm glad if all the all the support forward towards the channel. Yeah, telling all of that support my channel because all the see what I'll be doing. Hey! 
uh, bringing out a lot of things for all yeah, I'll share my best. I have a lot of things I can bring out. I have too much I think I can cook yeah, but just I just can't really buy it. You understand? Know I just really can't buy it. So I'll support my channel and I go bring out things and show you how to cook food. And stop cooking the same food and being boring. Look at this one here, yeah, you know how learn the GR. I don't know if it's jira rice or rice and lentil cook up with jira I don't know how my mother never tell my name for all she knows is it they say it's good right and if I watch the doubles video with my mother right all she knows she real simple she real quiet she don't fret up she cook she will do she work and humble she humble right um anybody she seen one dollar double she just buy one share money she just buy she just give Action. Yeah. Give the doubles thing. When we come off a camera, she went down by four doubles and give it right by the, right by the um, by the what is it called? The no, not the savanna, the palladium, the promenade. 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 <laughs> that is savanna girl. That is promenade, <laughs> right? So let's show you now how we just operate, right? So oh yeah, we are we you know it have now it's July September month. You know it have one two little chart acts and for little copy books and notebooks and pencil. Anybody that have, anybody that have, or they have, or they help, or they churn on them now, please. They just act for like a, a little dozen copy book, a little dozen notebook, some little pencil. I mean, you can take out a hundred dollars, you know, and you, you support, you know, a two child, a three, I wouldn't kill all of them, but they help people now, boy. Them same children, your child might be sick, and them same child help today. God of this is your witness. God is your witness. You will help them today. And 20 years from now, when your child, your tante, your nanny, your uncle might be sitting somewhere, and that same child, God will know that, that you help that child, and that same child help your family. So, all of be greedy now, man. All of come on, help the people and them, right? We know the people, we are the numbers for them. Not really the numbers, it's just one or two of them. But if you go by one or two of them and you're giving at least, you know, if you want to give a little six copy book, a little two notebook, a little pack of pencil, you know, a little pack of arm. Um, Eraser, you know, a little thing will come up about a little $50, $60. You know, if you support 10 children, self, you know, now it might be a little more because everything reason. Yeah. It doesn't copy book now, it's about $22 you now, so check it out. But just say now, but if all they have one, all they have, and you can help our child, or help them one of these days, I always just tell all they that. Watch my eyes, always preaching on my channel. A lot of people just get vexed so why be seen. And they just unsubscribe and hate that. But I'm gonna tell all this, I'm not like, okay, what you think. I tell you what I think. And one of these days, your tail, one of your family member later down the road will get sick and that same child today. Remember, you will never witness who getting it. But God witnessing who getting it. And that same person go turn around back. That same person you're giving copy book or notebook or pencil or a snack bag or a little sweet drink. They go turn around 20 years from now, might end up a doctor, might end up a lawyer, might even end up the person saving you in the road from something. So they have a heart open on their heart and help people. Stop being greedy. You just have, you know you have, but you still want more. Let's stop that. Everybody does have a day that they need help. Everybody. And for you to get that help, you have to put out help from today. So 20 years down the road, your help will come towards you. If it not come towards you, it will come towards your children, your grandchildren. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know how life does work. Next thing you're saying now, if you if you are, um, you make a child today and, 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 and five years after you're here, I just say, eh? don't get me wrong, you get a child of cancer or something, and you're coming out to everybody and asking them for a dollar or two dollars. Next thing, next thing, this person who was given a snack back 20 years ago, you know, every year or every six months, you're giving them something. Just say, I just say. 20 years after this person say, um, you know, God opened the heart and say, well, do this, do this person for free. You don't know how God has work. You don't know how miracles has work. All you need to stop being greedy. There are a lot of people have and they still want, they still greedy. There are a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they want so much, but they will never help people. I just always say, if you believe in God, you will do the right thing. If you, if you feel you believe in God, if you feel you believe in God, you will play doing the right thing, but you're not doing the right thing. You have help people. Help them. I do have. You can see what we just been as well show. I just show all you watch all your houses and them. I just show you have video all the crack in there. So that's so much I crack yet that I heard quick and even ready to start a crack yet. And I just still go with whatever little bit I have and still give. Why I just do that for? And when I give, it have people outside it, just come to help me as well. So you see that how it does work. So when you help somebody, 
somebody going to help you that's always here on my channel who vex vex who lost lost but all you need to understand that if you have don't play with me i have none today i can't give today but you're going down the road and buying a thousand dollars dress where it now and throw it away after the next day when that same thousand dollars you get about two hundred dollars dress take the eight hundred and go and donate to people that really need because one of these days your 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 child or your family member somebody will want them eh? as always preachers always say that because you see that why i just see now but i like my heart to be open and always helping people and people who help people later on the road other people just come and help them look at how much years i helping people right i help people so much i hear that shit i grew up from a mother learning to, to give people little doubles and little uh, look, pie and then when you buy you give them when you have you have right we don't have we grew up real poor i go carry a little where i come from and then later on the road i go sort of show there where i come from and when i listen to see i go say nah he come from there and i will show i never change I go on 40 years and I never change up. Always the same way. But there are people who have and live in lifestyle, lavish, showing off. For what? For what? Think about what I tell you, right? Again, welcome to the channel. If you don't like what is preached on the channel, unsubscribe and continue your business. God will bless me and I will keep on getting more people who will come on this channel and help people. And all the listeners are saying, all the help people now. Please, all you have a, 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 a heart that hanging down with a big stone. Or they have a heart that flying up. So you know, you, you see people out and you need help, help them out now and shine where you think. See, yeah, that is true what you say. How many people we there, sir? Real oh, people. No, no, we're not talking about to get attention, eh? Nah. That what people is afraid of. It's not that they have no attention. It's just a show, all yeah? It's mm -hmm. not real people out there suffering. And when you buy a whole chicken and you eat two pieces and you throw with the rest, it has somebody wishing they could eat it. You understand what I'm saying? When you, when, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you spend your money behind a shoe just about for one day for a thousand dollars, and you pack it up there when you get that bar shoe for a hundred dollars and, and help somebody with the rest of it. But the whole law works so, eh? well. Anyway, when, when the time reach, you go see you going down when you need so. And you're going to be saying, God forgive me for what I do now. And that time, it's going to be too late. Always remember that. And I learned the hard way, so don't worry. Always remember that. Always learn that. Always believe in God. Wherever God is, just pray to you, believe in God. And once you believe in God, do the right thing. You understand? Do the right thing. And if you really believe in God and you really trust God, you will do the right thing. Unless stop playing, you know that you believe. Go and, go and watch back some stories with Jesus Christ and see all the good things he does do. Um, Prophet Muhammad. Um, where's the next one? Um, Lord Shiva. Hanuman. All of them, yeah, go and see all of them is always helping people. And all they pray to them and all they ain't helping nobody. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. Come back to the party. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you this, isn't it? Yeah. Cheyenne, you may do the pleasure. <laughs> You can try it, you can lick the pot spoon, you can do with your own. Try it. You can lick the pot spoon too, alright? Try it and then more what is it? Yeah. Well, first thing, it's smelling good, I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, wait a minute, try it. <laughs> What's that? Can you get it taste good then? Nah, 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 nah. Mmm! <laughs> yeah, boy! Huh? How would you rather with your eyes? Hey, this thing is real good boy. Ah, nice. Mm. Hold back there. Let me just check that and take a whole pot. Come, 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 come. That's enough there for now. You go just now. Relax yourself. Hold on there. How about this? Okay. Honest opinion. Do lie. Get in front of that one. Talk. <laughs> well, right, that's a good idea. Well, what no long time with this thing good. I mean, right, so I'm gonna make my tomatoes and get organized so I'm gonna eat this food. Alright, so this is how you want it. And you have pepper, you can boss your pepper mm. in your plate. Mm-hmm. Right? So that is how it is there. We leave it a little sauce, because you can uh, me and you dry up now. Boy. We leave in the stew with some sauce, huh? Eh? Yeah. I want this sauce to eat more food. Now we just taste it and see if it's good. Perfect. I'm going to send pepper on them in mind.
All right, guys, okay? I'm not done. What's some sauce because of the rice? I want this sauce to sap it down now, but sap it in or whatever it is called. Anyway, I hope I didn't get all the board earlier on, but I hope I listened to what I tell you earlier. You know, I'm gonna keep helping people, right? So now, Shine is gonna roast some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have to show all that. I show all this. Plenty of Shine roast you know, real tomatoes. Can... <laughs> she roast real tomatoes on this channel. If you ain't see her tomatoes roast on this channel, you ain't watching this channel, man. Exactly. You ain't watching, watching it. That real. What? That woman roast real tomatoes. Anyway. I'm going to drink my tea and forget this food for now. <laughs> you can't go bust the dog, eh? Trust me, follow the recipe and perfect, currently. Thanks to my mother for teaching me this recipe. Don't worry, I'm going to learn too and I'm going to learn something new, right? So, jira rice with lentil, I take it. I don't know that. Some soya sauce, stew chicken, you know what to call that, I don't know. Uh, no, I good food, I get my skin in my neck, so I'm good to go. Yeah. Right? I like skin, I eat that. Right, so and all the workers are all the workers are on the right table, eh? Mhm. That is the issue. Any anything to say? No, really. I'm going to see all the right now. Going to organize up to roast the tomatoes. And for us, get ready for the right table because I'm ready for all the. We're going to talk about something real nice today. We're going to wait till we hit the table. Mhm. Come back soon. Right, so again, one more everybody, once more everybody, good morning, it's morning here, we in, um, well for you, when you're watching the show, it'll be evening, but for we, it's morning, we home today, and we're taking a little rest, tired, and well, this is the plate, this is all the food, look and shine, bring them and show them the food. So this is the jira rice, the lentil and jira rice, we have some cucumber there, show them the chicken, how it come out. Big squatter. Cook. Yeah, just now. Let me show these things here first. Wait, wait. So people go see how the food looking. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Right. So check out Pinky which she had to eat as well. Mm. Mm. Fry bacon. She's going to drink some small time. Right. So come. Let me put in some of this inside here now and see. Well, we make only one plate because Cheyenne says she belly full still, mm -hmm. From breakfast. We had some tea and we just had some cricks, huh? Mm-hmm. Why are you so quiet? I just watching the food and showing the food. Alright, so we put in some chicken in. Come on, come in and show them here. Come in, you're so far away. I ain't getting it. When, I ain't getting it good when I go close now. When you're oh. done, then. You show me two pepper from the rice? Yeah. See it there? Right, and then we have some ham. Um, Where's this ham? Um? Tomato. Tomato choker. Huh? The roast one or the boiled one? The roast one. The roast one. Daddy. So you go pile a little bit for Cheyenne too? That enough there? Eh? Yeah, that enough. Pile a little bit on that side there. Eh? Mommy. Right. So I check out my food. Let eh? me show them the food. This is what I was waiting for. Let's show them the food. Right? And watch how nice it looking. Watch how that chicken looking. Look at the tomatoes. The cucumber. And what's that nice pepper over there? Yeah. Two, you know. Two hot pepper. Right, so let me get on, let me taste it, and then we go start the show with what my topic is about. Shine, you ready for the topic today? Yeah. You feel like something about you? Hopefully not. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, it's good. This is good? Yeah. Nice. Now, try your rice and your chicken. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, I know it's good, it's good, because it's just already. <laughs> Shall you come over and try it, and then after we go start the show, right? Alright then. Wait right then. Yeah. Mmm. I just want I want to watch that food and watch how nice that food looking. Watch how nice everything looking on the table, now. Nice cooked to the end. What do you want, Papa? Yeah. You feel like I can do it? Very yeah. see. Yeah. Look at this still anything? Yeah, check it out. There, see there? Yeah, see it hanging down. Huh. Good morning. Mm hmm. Bye, right, Papa. Are you trying tomato choker? Yeah. Look, Sammy, you need to do Sammy water and shit. Hey, we're making all that noise for. Say hello. Hey. Watching you, he feed Dada. Besides water. Yeah, drink some water. Yeah. The cock. Wait, what's the cock? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this one to color. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Watch it, right there to Let's stop it all. Watch it off to water. Watch it in pools in white. It's kind of like. Let's get this water. Yeah. Now drink, drink. Mm -hmm. We have our chat for Sammy and I cook some of the sandwich here. Come on. What are you drinking? Nice. Nice? Okay. How are you tasting? Good. You want? Alright, alright. Cool. Daddy? What? Don't you make this one? You want water? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if it's more. That is uh, nice. <laughs> right, so what to do? You come over? I'm sure Check on your food, yeah? Okay, we'll just water. I'm sure they one more time now. Just for, for, for weakness sake. Mm -hmm. Just watch it one more time now. Just mm -hmm. now, eh? The camera out of focus. Right. Go down and show them. Watch that, watch, watch. And watch how nice that food looks. Eh? Oh. Real simple thing, eh? Nothing too expensive. Mm -hmm. Humble. Yeah, for real. Right? Yeah. All right. So let me go. Shall I go in across now? All right. What is that simple food? Eh? A little stew chicken neck. Well, soya chicken neck, a little roast tomatoes, and a little jira rice. Try, try the taste. What's your little ketchup pinky? Right, so let me go down date. Well, let me try the food. Let me eat it. First time I'm trying this, i never in my life hear about Jira lentil peas with rice. So I, I go and try this. You see the Jira? It does bring all the food. I guarantee that. Mommy? Leave it there. Leave it there. Eat your food. It move them thing from the Nagil. Before that, man, eat your food. Mmm. Hey, that food tastes good, boy. Wait. Huh. I, I want to tell all you all to try this food. Try it. No lie, it is real good. Oh, remember, as I say now, and my mother teach me, lentil peas do not have a specific taste, like how split peas dal have a specific taste. You can eat dal with anything. Lentil, you have to know how to cook a lentil. Yeah, now, there is boy. just one of the recipe I bring out here with the lentil. The last time, all you see on this channel, we make lentil peas peel out. Today, you see in Jira lentil peas mm -hmm. and rice. I have one or two others again that my mother teach me and later down in the show mm -hmm. we go bring it out, right? Try and this in. Yeah, honest, yeah. honest opinion, don't lie, eh? Because people go in to try the recipe and I wait to tell them how it tastes in. First time eating it just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. You tell me how you find it tasting. Mm, I find this tasting real, real good. Real yeah. good. Real simple, real nice. Mm. And it's jira. You get a real nice jira taste in it, boy. It tastes in real nice. How oh, do the rice taste in? The rice taste in good. It's then sack bait, nice and greeny. Right, you don't make it. You can't use white rice, eh? Mm. You can't use white rice. You have to make brown rice. You have to put enough water so your rice will come out. Watch out, watch out that rice come out. Yes, no, eh? Go ahead, go ahead. See it? I'm going to spoon. Let's see. So you know when you're making something like this, it's real simple. Mm-hmm. You don't need nothing too fancy. Watch what I buy. I buy. Um, ten, that is about ten or twelve dollars in chicken neck day. Cheyenne buy a pong of tomatoes. That was about seven dollars. I think she paid for that, mm -hmm. right? And we we had rice and lentil home already. Mm -hmm. Hot pepper. We know that is something we just mostly have. Cucumber and a bite. Yeah. Eat that much in the yeah. I just we just more eat lettuce, but my lettuce, and me know. Yeah. The lettuce and ketchup are too old, boy. I don't know. I don't know. I go and check it out. See we the end of this. Yeah. And your pinky day. Mm -hmm. She mother come up she here, she doing she school work this morning. Yeah. And she eating she breakfast. Well let's she she cricks and roti um cricks and tea already. But yeah. If she eat some she eat whatever she eat. And we have some mini bag eh? Pinky move your block and go back on your seat. You want to be shown on camera. Sammy. Baby. Just size one. Nice some water? So size water? Yeah. Sizes. Right, so talk to them there about the food. Hey, 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 you go on your corner. Move that from there and go on your corner. Go so. Mm -hmm. Don't let you touch them there before you pull it down. You know. I, me, boy? I find this tasting better than how I just normally fry up my leftover lentils. 
Yeah, you have to put jira, right? Jira is royalty. Hey, it's not real. I have some good recipes to make with jira. Mm -hmm. Lentil, but you know the thing is, right? I'll go, go accordingly. It, but jira tastes good in the lentil. It's up to you if you want to try the recipe. You want to try the recipe? Yeah. Or let me make sure and send me a little WhatsApp 271. 9373 with all the pity, all the make it and let me know what it is, right? Yeah. Well, I know plenty of people try my um, the stew chicken, the curry stew I make, mm -hmm. and they say it is real good. Mm -hmm. Right? Plenty of people send me a message on WhatsApp and say the mommy, the auntie, the grandmother, all of them try it my way, and they really like it my way, and they didn't get the, the bad curry taste they normally get in it. You, get, you see? Not tough people. When you see a cook your curry, people, eh, you see when you burn curry and you make stew and curry, boy, the curry do cook. Because the stew take over the flavor of the curry. So you have to curry your thing first, and I tell all you, 15, 20 minutes, take your time, cook your curry well. Right? You dry it down accordingly how you want it before you add your water, then you stew him down. Mm. You want something to drink? Give him some water. Try to make a fit in here. Right, so you see how nice the food is? I'll check it out there by the time. Give, give him some water there. Uh, we had two pepper there, a, a red and a, no, I mean, yeah. a yellow and a green. Watch it, watch it, chicken. Yeah, how nice. Like just lentil, just some lentil. We had white and um, brown rice. Simple and real simple and we have meal. And you see the big pot we get, eh? And that is about. They're very really greedy. Watch it. If you greedy, then. No. next video one. <laughs> she go with you water. Tell you, master, I shit in. My God. That was a different cup. Right? And it's all simple, really easy. What are that, that chicken looking like? Huh? Your side cup. Right? I know some people just get fed up with the stew chicken constantly. Try this one. It tastes real good. Right? You don't have to put tomatoes if you don't want. And you can dry it on more if you want. Right? I wanted sauce because this food really needs sauce because our rice dry. Mm -hmm. Right? So how about this, Cheyenne? Real good boy. I'm getting happy with huh? happy with real, real good. Yeah. What you have? So what you gonna recommend? I recommend this um Jira lentil. I think all they cook in food and they want to make lentil and rice separate. Try it like this. What? No, they don't like they made the lentil separate, the rice and the deal, stew chicken. Mixing the lentil and the rice with the jira and try it like this. Yeah, well, anyway, if you make making lentil separate, you just stew your lentil, huh? Yeah. You know, you know like, how people just say, we're making it today, we're making some lentil piece and rice and stew chicken. Yeah, we'll make it just like how I make it. Yeah. And there is my mother recipe, yeah, so you know, hmm. sharing some recipes with all you. Mm -hmm. And the stew chicken too, you eat well, you know what go on there, right? That's my mother recipe as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, just bring out things from the old cookbook days now, boy. But you know, that could real cook good food, eh? Me know like what? You know the thing is, right? Yeah, cook good food. And there is good food here, yeah, we should teach you to cook too. Mm -hmm. All this. Well, this one I learned from a the Chinese man. Right? My mother has a different way she has to make she stew chicken. And uh, I'll go teach you that one in the next time. <laughs> too much, I take the teacher, too much, I time. Yes, you see, more that fry all the and roti. What? If you never eat that, you never eat seafood. Huh? I say, more that fry all the and roti now. Yeah, yeah. Anytime I go by him, mother, that's all I just want. Fry, I want Because she doesn't make it real nice. She could real cook nice. Yep, plenty of old recipe. You see, when you do hot thing long time days? Yeah. And you have to make up whatever you have to make up? Yeah. And I tell her this was an accident, eh? Yeah. I tell her somebody business, she must she was macroing and throw jira inside the. She was merely making rice and lentil cook up. Right? But she used to hear what happened, did she? When she was making it, she said she by mistake she was to throw jira in something. I don't know. And she said she ended up throwing it in this food. And that's how it come out. And how it is. Yeah, right? But you had to chunk it at um, that lentil. Eh? You see why I chunk it? Follow the recipe. And frap your onion, your garlic. Now you can frap pepper and thing too in if you want. But um, I leave my pepper whole. I didn't burst my pepper in this room. Because I know she was making this tomato choker and this had plenty of pepper as well. Right? So I know I didn't want the, 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 the pepper to, to be too much now. So that's why I didn't burst mine. But you could frap yours. And if you're making this alone, just going with anything, eh? 
There's going with tuna. Oh, There's going okay. with sardine. What? There's going with tomato choker. There's going with um fry body. There's going with everything. Shallow belly choker. Yeah. Sh banana choker. Banana choker. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you know I learned banana choker from uh, this channel <laughs> as well. So I hope I'll let's try your recipe now, but the show is now begin. I was now thinking I should have made that instead of the tomatoes, but I don't think it tastes good with Baby anything. Shark. Yeah. Shark. And we are Sammy, we are Pinky. Mm -hmm. Sammy? Mischievous, watch him. He ain't fat. He's too fat. I call him fatty boy now. You're blocking them, move now, yeah? Boy. Yeah, yeah, you want to be on camera. You know, you might start the show. And we are Pinky. Sammy? Once in a while, you take bacon get shot. Whoa. Hello. Move Hello. your hand, Nagel. Go, Nagel. Go, Salam. Right. And we are Pinky. Hello. Sammy? Hello. Pinky? Hello. Hey, so you don't eat it. You just be saying, don't eat it. You fool? Sit down and eat. Go on, sit down and eat. When you go to school, you have to sit down and eat. Yes. Yeah, sit down, down and eat now. Right. Sit down. And then it says, kneel down. I said, sit down. Right. Right. Eat your food. When you go in school, you have to sit down and eat your food. Yeah, they eat quick because half an hour break there. Half, half an hour break there. So eat. And you can't be eating like a pig. Yeah. <laughs> right, come over here now. Let me start the show now. My back and I'll begin. Alright. I have to go back and take a spoon for a lot of food. Too much. Too much. the food is good, eh? Yeah, boy. Hmm. When something they sing good, away, you can't help yourself, you know? Just a little bit. Yeah. No, I? Right. Or they know I like my chicken skin. Me and care what people say, I grow up eating and I like it. Are you ready to taste good, eh? Can I you eat? Watch. It was tasting good. So I eat. Hi, <laughs> Papa, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I'll take a piece of that, eh? Cool. Yeah. And then my mouth one in me. That makes a seven pot or not? Huh? One is seven pot, and one is regular. Mm-hmm. Hot. Mmm. Let me start this show. All right. Right, are you ready? Ready for the topic, Shia? Mm-hmm. Mmm. You want to come out? Let me hear what bacana you're going to start here now. Nah, no big bacana, nothing big. We don't mind. A nice bacana. What is this? Some water? Yeah. Have water. That's all the sand. Let me drink some water. Before you come on this table, what that food is? It is good. Then we can bust down more after we done the show, eh? Mm-hmm. We're going back for a second round, eh? Yeah, we're going back for a second round. Mm. Yeah, uh, when you're making it too, you have to put enough lentil, eh? Yeah. Average your lentil to your rice now. Because lentil don't get thick like that, eh? That what tell them? I mean, yeah. for me now, nah, like thick like how it is mash up and the dal let's get Yeah, it's mash up. It's full and thick. the same way. Yeah. Mm. Come. I just have a pig here eating. <laughs> oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, right. So we're going to talk a little bit about something today for all you fellas now. Mm. You know what topic, Sean? Me and no. The topic today is when, how it was when you had your first car. Uh-huh. Nothing about you today. Don't worry. We can come to you. We come back to you next time. Nah, 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 nah. Right. Let me tell you my first car. Or you can leave things in the comment and remind, remind all yourself how oh, well, I had all the first car. Now my mommy and daddy didn't buy my first car. I walked my tail off and buy my first car. My first car was a 120Y, a Datsun 120Y, the hatchback one. Right? The hatchback 120Y Datsun. Now who know them cars and that is more like in the uh, more like the, the 70s, the 80s, around the 90s, them car them hatch from the factory, <laughs> the factory them time, right? Right, so at that time, I did pay $8,000 for my Datsun. The number plate, I can still remember, it was PAC2426, right? Yeah. I talking about a long time, eh? I nearly about 20 years ago. 
I buy my first car. That's it. Eight thousand dollars. I remember. And I remember when I buy the car, right? I buy the car from somebody. Hey, 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 hey. Pay yourself. When I jump a back, you need seat, eh? Right. <laughs> I buy the car from somebody, right? And the man say, yeah, boy. You will never have no regrets in that car. That carburetor, no, no, was fuel injected, eh? That was carburetor. Boy, I buy the car. I shop it. Me and nothing about car and thing, man. That time I was 17 years, eh? Me and nothing about car and thing. Right? So, me, I go and buy a car. My mom, me and my brother, I went for the car. And I coming on the road now, I drive and I drive and I end. I don't buy the car, I don't pay car, we don't do paperwork, I don't get the insurance, everything. Long time this was real different, they get insurance, you buy a car, you get insurance one time. That's scary, the certificate, you have a chance, not me. once you have the receipt, you get through that way. So I don't do all that coming on the road, boy. I remember coming on the highway now, reaching, I buy the car, we were somewhere in, um, somewhere was in Freeport or Coover, boy, somewhere in the, somewhere in the middle of the, hey, 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 behave. Play it up, so they are relaxed. Right. So, <laughs> I buy the car coming down the road, buddy. What's the car? No, me and nothing more car thing. When I open the car thing, me and see no oil stain. Me and me, I didn't know nothing at that time. So, you know, you ain't see no oil stain. You ain't see no gas leak. You know, you, you, you think, okay, nice, man. <laughs> buy that car coming down the road. I remember hitting Chase Village. A little after Chase Village, you reach an arm. Be very sure. What does the, the car sound go? Pop, 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 pop. Oh! Stupid me, me, and I think about no car. I tell you, all the car going, going bop, 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 bop. So me and my brother watch him. What's going on here, boy? No, that time he didn't have a cell phone and thing, eh? So yeah, if you had to make a call, you go by the phone, boot and make a call. So we on the highway. You ain't getting that. So we pull over now. I remember we pull over by um, C Ram D. C Ram brothers are crazy driving. Well, hold on, well, hold on. Eat out your food. Right? When we pull over now, when we go on by, checking out we ain't nothing about car and thing, you know? Watching now, we stupid, we ain't nothing about going on there. Mm. So we go max that, yeah, yeah, po, 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 po. We ain't not. So, same time a man was passing about, about 10 minutes after he stopped and asked me. He said, well, they're going on the youths. Yeah. Well, long time these people was different. We say, well, we ain't nobody, we now get the car, we shut down. When you watch the car, it a flood. So he choking now, boy. So he showed me what to do. He said, yeah, we are here. You have to unscrew the carburetor and a little cap. A little cap, which where the gas says be boy. And you unscrew that. And let that gas jug. And you take in your mouth. And you go in by the carburetor and you We are blowing <laughs> the drive out of the carburetor. Because any time the carburetor flood, it choke. And it bopping. Hey, shh. It bopping the car now, boy. So the man showed me and that's the first time I learned. But my father didn't know about car. So he show me, we blow it and we say don't drive too hard because apparently the car ain't good, it flooded. Well, kill me, then you know, the more car, I didn't even know that. So we drive the car easy, easy, come down the road, you see, you see by, we, we stop by the same salmon tree. Right by that salmon tree, then we just stop and my father come down. Well, he come down, he carry home the car and thing, man, when he carry home the car now, we go on. We go on back by the man in the next and tell him, he say, well, you don't pay for your car, you know, partner, I can't do nothing for that. He said, but the car, he said, well, that's happened. That is happening in cars. You don't know about cars. I said, but you can tell you all of that thing. You never tell me nothing. But you can do it. You can't Don't pay the man thing. Don't happen. Mm. Driving that car, though, next day, now. Take it for going to work. I feel it nice. First time I buy my little car, shut down again, boy. Now, when I go into work, it was me alone. So I shut down halfway on the old road they going on the road. I said, I get come out the car. I said, I kick out the tire thing. <laughs> mad, mad, mad. Let me see what I can't mad, mad. I'm not cussing and thing, eh? Cussing and thing, boy. I'm not I kick out the tire and thing. Going back again. Well, I had tools and thing at that time because I learned how to do it now. So I just scrap it now. Then you have about 20 minutes to scrap it. Then you have to blow it. Let it dry back and you go on again. Going down the hill now, going on the old road again, you set a bop again. Yeah. Um, me and Sina. I do all the rich walk out all day. I walk in the grocery. Yeah? My ask my wife, I said, "Wah, back car thing, I have trouble landing this." Right? Walk in, you know, hold him. I can't walk because my mind only on that. Cause I don't know what to do now, boy. No, all anybody have good experience. I had a bad experience with that car. I had, I had more than one car, but there's a story for this car today. The first car. We got a story for the second, the third, and the fourth. Right? That really is, and I was 21, 22 years ago. We talking about here, right? So. 
go on, I think I go on to work and thing, but no, this story is about bad relationship with Kai, eh? not good relationship. So, in the comments, if all they had a Kai, you look your real thunder, or they leave that in the comment, right? Or they leave that in the comment. Tell me about the first car the relationship they had. If it was good, well, the first car was alright. But we have one of mommy and daddy seen about your car. You want to see about your own car in this. Right? Nothing about nobody helping you. They're showing you anything here. But you talk about buying, you want to buy your own thing. And don't even come and say, my mother buy the first car, my father buy my foot. Nah. You talk about people who buy the thing for themselves. Right? That's what that that this one is about. We go talk about that later on, but we talk about this one here. Right? So, go on to work and thing, but shut down and. Come on back in the evening now, don't walk, make my day walk. I slog outside. Yeah, which one the grocery was at a little step now, boy. The boss at a step. So you can slow me. So I slow on that step and I watch the car. The car watching me and I watch it. I say next night I start this thing and I had to go home and I evening traffic, yeah? And I shut down now. I gonna cause real trouble. Because on the old road is a two lane. So if you shut down and then them people them coming down from all Santa Cruz and going up and real traffic. So long I'm thinking, I say let me go, let me go. So here what we do? Take the carburetor that's uh, clean them out and then first. Start them up and I'm driving easy, easy going up the road. When I reach on top, the steep and the bad <laughs> <laughs> shot dog boy. He bad shot dog. What is your bad shot eggs? I'm pumping the eggs and climb up the I'm pumping the eggs. If you see where I'm, I'm pumping the eggs, boy. I say, oh, go, we can talk the hill, we can talk the hill, we can talk the hill. What is your reach? I'm ready here. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> the camera I roll away, I don't go on, I said a pump. <laughs> yeah, you don't mow your pump, mow the camera, it's go full with gas. So you don't strip with me, me head, what that? Well, I pump it, and more I pump it, more gas problems. <laughs> so I reach out way, I just stop, pull out handbrakes, come on, that big piece of block, chop the tire. I, I watch me, it's a little piece of paper, I stand, pipe right in. I will take a little walk up there and show, anytime I meet it. I go show I walk now, boy, right? Anytime. I get time, I go do it. Right? Watch my stop by that stand, but I even see what's gonna go mad. I said I kick off the car, I said I walk up to the road. I don't know what I say. You're done. Yeah. You want to go poor? No. Alright, but well, eat you. Poor will eat it all later. You will eat it all later. What do you want? Want to go to the toilet? Yeah. Well go to the toilet? Go fast. Tap inside. Go fast. Go. Wash up your hands and thing. Before you touch that tab, please. Go inside and wash your hands. Touch your sticky. Yeah, go fast and wash your hands and go in the toilet. Go ahead, go. Go fast, go fast. Go fast. Yeah, go. Go fast, go fast. Yes, go quick now, girl. Pull the gate. All right, go. Wash your right. hands eh? before you touch the tab. Yeah. So, boy. Eh. Shut down and thing, boy. It's gonna go mad. It's gonna quarrel and thing. <sighs> Same process again. Reach up now. Don't do that and then half now. I talk about night there. Eh? Driving up now. If only know on the old road, who from Sawa know the old road. As soon as you pass a standpipe on the hill and you drive around it at the police station, the health center, and you take the next little corner, it at the cemetery. Well, here we're going on 9 o'clock in the night, half past 8 in the night, o'clock in the night. As soon as I don't drive the first thing I go up and I hit the cemetery there. Eh? Carburetor flood again. Now my mother them getting worried because they know be time six o'clock and they be home. So when they see that I, I, I couldn't do nothing out of the way, the same them I see my father and my brother walking on the road now, boy. So I happy to see them. So go and walk the car. Yeah, so long they done? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. I want you want to go to toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Mad. Yeah. Yeah. So happy to see them boy. Watch man. I go on home. Uh, uh, one of my cousin they come and he help my service my car and then and we end up getting the carburetor and changing the carburetor. And we bought a new carburetor. So that carburetor help me out a little bit. Wow. We'll talk about first accident and thing in the next video, right? All that was in that car, you know, but we'll talk about it in the next video. I'll give you a joke and thing about that. How I was when that happened to me. Right? You know, I like to share stories with all you now, boy. Hey, hey, sit down. You are your partner, sit down. Sit down. Right. Sit down. Sit down. Right. So. When I see them, I think I was happy. So I tell them, my cousin, we change the carburetor. Well, the carburetor, it worked for a little while. 
Then I was walking about a month or something, going back to get in trouble again. Right? I go to my man to get it fixed. He fix it, he take my money, he rub me. Lord, so done that. It didn't work. So, it so happened. Now, I get an accent with that about a month after. But I'm going to share one. Now, I'm going to share the next story because it was real kicks. Real, real, real kicks with that. But, uh, you know, first accident, this is your first time you drive in a car. So, after I get scared, I game with that man, boy, I pack up that car. And let me give you a joke now in this car now. You know, people that start a deck in the car. I get one of them little old radio. My boss, who I used to work for, that little old radio. And you know, you know to the back of the battery section? I take two wire, black and red, hook it up to the two back of that, back, that radio. Right? I run that straight to current uh, to the battery. And that was my radio, you know. A normal radio, you know, house radio. You know. And I used to pop out that and go all over the place with that. When you start the car, the radio start. When you go here, you take out your battery wire. And you're on. I'm using thick current wire now, boy. So it wouldn't burn out now, boy. Yeah. Watch, man. Eh. For the next three. I had that car for about three months. Three years. Yeah, three months. Boy, you know the problems I see with that car. I think a man married life. Dealing with his wife only and all she's stressed. In ten years was that three months. It <laughs> tapped. <laughs> I serious why? If you're married to somebody and you know the wife is get stressed, just check 10 years of that stress. I get it in three months in that car. Watch me, flat tire. The the thief the battery. They um they break the windshield. They um like people by we eh? Um by mama and them they now boy. They break the windshield, the thief my tires, they the um thief my battery, they scratch the car. Boy. That like kind of thing, I had to go through the first car. I had one accident with that car. One accident. And then I sell the car to my cousin. And then when he gave, the car started to work good. When I had the car, real stress. When he gave the car, the car working good. You can never believe that. I don't like you at all. No, that's why I tell you. That's why I tell you. You can try. I always tell people that. Sometimes you're trying something. And you don't work for your Gerardite. You understand? That's the moral of the story. You know, but it's a true story, you know. But that is true. I spent $8,000 wow. to buy the car. Insurance was. I, I now get licensed. So at that time, I was here about. Um, no, about $1,200, I think, maybe, for my age. Thanks, Sonny. Thanks, Sonny. Yeah, leave him. He poo. He poo? Yeah. Oh, you check him, You check him on camera to see me poo, boy. Nah, he ain't poo. Why? He's a baby. <laughs> he ain't poo. Everybody he just poo. <laughs> when he get big, he was saying, oh, you check him in so, boy. Oh, embarrassing, man. <laughs> yeah. 8,000 for the car, 1,200 for the insurance, right? Then he, the, when I am, um, then all the tires, I think was smooth, so I had to buy back new tires when I now get it now, boy. Then you see, when you see, let me tell you something, eh? And I learned this from experience. You see, when you're going to buy a vehicle, like for Pinky and Sammy, when it's them time to buy a vehicle, right? And them going to buy a vehicle. They may go without me, you know? Because every time I go, watch me, I know about truck, I know about van, I know about car, I know about everything. As I say, I know about everything about car, but I don't fix it, eh? That is one thing I don't play with. I don't play with vehicle. I know everything. Axle, brakes, shocks, um, Everything, actually, and then yeah, I yeah, yeah. buy everything. I know everything. I can tell you where everything is in a car, how it is, but I don't interfere with it. I learned that. Don't interfere with something you don't like. So if you know, all right, like, like if you, is a, you know things about electrical, but you don't like it, don't interfere with it. You understand? Because if you don't like something, you will never do it good. And I do like to dig up in car. I know everything about it, you know. Everything I can tell you that all. Hey, hey, stop pulling that. Come, go back in this. You do mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> you do too much, I'm mischief. <laughs> Come bring your chalk for him. Let you play with the chalk. Yeah. yeah. I know dig up in that. I know everything about that car. I know everything. I used to dig up in them. And when I realized, they have, I had two other old car gear there. Yeah, let's next video that story because it's been getting long already. But. It doesn't happen over long. 
Yeah, that will be over an hour. But I would have liked, so we gain them, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Anyway, the... Hey. Do I ever dig up... Yeah. Huh. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, God, we created. We're good. We can fix it. Fix the car. Wow. We fix the car. Wow. Yeah, fix the car. Right. Yep. So, always do... If you like something, then interfere with it. If you do like something, do go and interfere with it. I do, I do like to fix a car. I know everything about it. I know all the tools. But the what? Right? I know everything I about it. But I will never, never dig up in it. I can change my own oil. I prefer going to spend $60. Something she carries. <laughs> hey, remember that, that clean girl? Yeah. I prefer going to spend my $60 and let them change the oil. Because you know why? Them doing something for nearly no, 20, never. 35 no. About, nasty. 30, about 35 years now, them doing that for. So, them know what they're doing. I'm doing this a year or two years, and I want to dig up in something that I know I'm learning to do. But I, I just relax myself. You know what Because something you can make a mess. Something you tighten, you not a little too tight. You know what I mean? Something you ain't tight, too good. You drive down your lap, poop, you take a flower, that gold. You go in left, and you take a go in left. You know what I mean? You ain't going through that. So, no, like lights, like, like little light, ball panning, all them things, I just change myself on it. I can do all them things, but I talk about like going underneath and taking on cradle, bushing, and going and get pressed on. And no, 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 no. Taking out all your arm, all your, your, your rim and thing, and when you take out your tire and thing, you take out all your arm, the, the, the ends and your, your joints so and one, no, 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 so no, 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 spot now. Changing brakes and thing. The moment that clip it up and that brakes, you make a mistake and you ain't no way doing it. As I say, you driving left and your car going right. You understand? Not me, pad. But the point I'm trying to make, I learned something that sometimes you have something and you're doing something and it just never work for you. Watch, I tell you about that car. Three months, eh? I spent at that time about nearly $15,000 behind that whole car. Right? About that time. That time. $15,000. Like real money. Talking about 20 something years ago, eh? Just to have a car because I want to be independent and I have my own thing now, eh? Boy, and three months to hey, four months. Hey, sit down. Hey, sit down. Three to four months, I have that car, right? I just telling you now, boy. Five. Well, hey, go on, sit down. Four. Three. Two. Go sit down. Right. Yeah, three to four months, I have that car. And he can never walk with me now. So as my cousin buy, man going all along, penal, baby. I can't even reach it sour and drive back <laughs> up the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah, that was just about like a little 10 minutes drive from my day to day. 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. Two shut down. He going penal, baby, going carnage, maracas, liming. Coming home late in the night, normal, normal. And I don't walk and I come home 10 minutes, I'm car shut down. 5 minutes, I'm car shut down. So something here, realize when something is for you and it's not for you. But what? I get that car and get some money, I sell that car for. How much? I still remember. $5,000. Huh. No, no. Four thousand dollars. Hmm. I think I still had the receipt for that. Four thousand dollars I sell that car for, and spent fifteen thousand dollars in three months. What? I was really stupid, don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, no, nah, nah. So when it's Sammy turn and Pinky turn to buy the car, call your daddy. Call your daddy. Let, let me go check it out. Let me go check it out. Oh, eh? go daddy, no. Eh, boy? Yeah, yeah. No, me, Pinky. You can't outsmart me with no car partner. Every time I hear you turn that engine, every time I hear you just turn that, and I hear that engine idling, I tell you, you one time is something bad in that car. Because it's three old car hard, eh? Three old car, you know. I don't. Boy, that was a Nissan, eh? That's his Nissan. I'll get this story with my master in our next episode. Eh? Right? No, me, Pinky. Me. Me too. Oh, Sean, you have any, you have any car? You don't have a license, no? No. So, you have no car, right? I'm going to go. Right. It's time for you to get a license. I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys. Anyway. Hey. Wow. Bye. Bye. When you go for a license? Me, no. Maybe. Bye. Soon. And Bye. When Sam is getting a little bigger. You go for it? I got somebody to hold him. Pinky. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Because you see how you play a quiet day with them? I leave it again for one hour. Right, you seven, you go here cry. Hey, hey, sit down. Sit down. Yeah, so that was it. Now, the, the comments I wanted to leave when I buy all the first car, 
No, we don't want nobody mommy and daddy buying the kite talking about you and the experience you had. If it was a good experience or a bad experience, right? No. Now, when Sammy and Piggy are ready to buy them car, I will not be buying that car. Them will have to save their own money from small. Yes, you will save your own money. I don't give you nothing. Them have to save their own money and buy their own car just like how I do. The reason why. That is for them to gain responsibility. Now, I wouldn't make them buy a car go shut down. Because you know who they're going to call? Um, yeah, hello, daddy. I shut down in the highway, no? Oh, and I know so long, it to my life later. <laughs> and you call it me? You see? Not at all. Not at that partner. <laughs> but I'm good. Thing. And I'm making sure them could change everything. Tire. Everything. Me, you know? me too. Lights, everything. Me, you want to call me? And say, come and change my tire for me. Now, what I'm saying, I'll jack up you and can't change your own tire. You stupid. Yes, right? Yeah. And Pinky? Yeah. And you change your own tire? Yeah. Right. And Pinky, Pinky, you change your tire? Yeah. When I change the tire, she just come out and watch my mother. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. So, what do you think about that story, Shia? It was good. Huh? It was nice. Me and my old car, then it can't win. Do, 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 po, po. When you see choking now, boy, it's uh, sucking that air. And when you see the air cock away, it's like gunshot. Po, po. I'm telling you, you know. Watch me, that that's it. So that, that 8,000, you had plus 1,200. Why you didn't save your money and buy something good and done? Well, you see that time? When you're stupid? You're really stupid. And you have, you have nobody to really guide you on the right path to where you're heading? That's it. You know you walk car. You, you see all your friends and from school have a car and you have none now, boy. No, but you, you see, you're looking for paper and you hey. No, but the, the, the money can I save it and let them continue showing up with the car. You buy a good car. Well, you see, at that time, a good car was it a Datsun, a Mazda, a Mazda 323, or a 626, or a Nissan B12, or a B13. Or you could have look around first and then say, I'll come back. I'll well, you see, back. I didn't know. That's the that point I'm trying to draw a reference. When you see, you don't know something, you don't get interfere with it. Yeah. You understand? Yes. But now alone. Yeah, what is it? Learn, yeah, you want to say learn? <laughs> Not learn it alone. <laughs> or you can carry your father with you if he didn't know about cars. That is a very long story and we will not get into that. <laughs> very long story. We will not get into that. Anyway, as I said, thank God, Pinky and Sammy have me and they are you. And I just teach you everything I know. Yep. Me tell you something. Yeah, let me tell you. Joke with me, pal. And someday on the highway, we shut down for a flat tire. Mm -hmm. And guess who I had to jump out and get everything from her? Uh, uh, that woman behind it. <laughs> and guess what's about it is? If today or tomorrow you drive in a car and I'm not here, you're not calling me to change your tire. Change your tire. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Because when I saw my little dad and I saw when I watch the TV, you have to learn how to jack it up. You have to learn to get your cross. You have to take all them not and them and move all that tire. Oh, then okay, scrape yeah. back up. Then scrape back up. Yeah. And then make sure I'm flat the door and press it back down and make sure everything's tight. And then you have the go, you know, you have to go in patterns. You can go in one knot here and one knot here. And yeah. Six up. Yeah. You have to go cross. Yeah. I'll show them everything I don't show Sherry, you know. Yeah. So if me ain't feeling good now when I sit down, when you can't see she jacking it up. You see some people do. Go see you sit down when you can't, you know, feeling good and they see a woman doing it. They go say, look how yeah, she changed the entire time. point. You see, she know. Next thing, next thing I alone know, and she don't know. And I feel and sick or something now. And she can always come out and do it. Like, yeah. they might sit down somewhere outside waiting. So they have to see how to learn. Or they have a woman stupid. Not in this house. That one, and that one, and this one here too. <laughs> well, I done with the chair and this one. So they know everything. To put on block, actually. She can put on block. The plaster. She knows the plaster. I can't plaster so good. I can still plaster. I can't have rough. To well, she got to learn to well. Yeah, I learned to do that. What? Don't like so long and watch me, you know. When I call for a tool, and you ain't know the tool, ask the kind of friend just come out. Eh? Right? Oh watch mm -hmm. it. Even Peaky too, you know. Peaky okay. can tell you where's a hammer. Where's a screwdriver. Where's a arm? Where's the next one again? Hammer, screwdriver. Nail. Okay. And nail, pliers. Okay. She know all them things already. Okay. Shovel. Shovel, yeah. Um, towel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cracks. Nice. You see, uh, some people as other yeah, women have yeah, like the girl chair and them girly girly. Not in this house. Mm -hmm. But when you see if I get old and I get sick and I can't do something, them can do it. You understand? 
Everybody can do their own thing. They're not to study me. If I have a crack and I say, you're the plaster, they're going to come back. I'm going to work or something. They're going to do it. They're going to learn to do things. So be stupid. And Sammy? Right. And just obviously, Sammy is the boy alone. He's going to learn to do everything. Nah, pink hair, do everything. Eh? Yeah. You too, eh? Yeah. So if I say, you're a flag, go and change it. Well, I'm going to change it. We are dragging. I'll change it. Right, see? Everybody knows the thing. So that was. We hope you enjoyed the show. We know we pass a little hour and something, and all the thing is, I like this show like that, you know? Thanks for watching, eh? Bye! Mm-hmm. Bye! And this time, Mama, when they shut down in the highway, bye. they said to call your husband bye. for help. Bye. Yeah, bye. you call your car, and let it carry your car, and go by your mechanic, and see what's wrong with one thing. Not here, partner. You call him, they say something, they yeah, call your car because the car can't go, go no way. Yeah. Even that flat, they ain't changed it yet. Yeah. Just so you call me. It might shut down. Let me say, I drive, and I don't get my life, and I drive, and I shut down. Why call him here when I had a call you right now? Yeah. So I you're going on. My car shut down and I want to carry by the mechanic. Where's the mechanic living? Right on the road there. Let me go. Yeah. And you think about it? If she shut down and she call me the and say, well, I'm a flat tire, you know why I go? My response go each. So you ain't changed it there. You waiting on me. Yeah. And she'll change and come back. Don't, don't, don't call me. No. Only. Only. If it's two flat tire, well, that's a different story. Only. Nah, no. I ain't not change two flat tire yet. Just one. <laughs> No, but if you have two flat tires, you only have one spare. Yeah. So where you get your next spare from? Yeah. You can still have a coat. You gotta drive slow and carry it by the time. Nah, that, 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 tire go, that tire go damage. You wanna see how I run flat tire? You wanna see the tire shop right here, right, right here. Yeah, well, that's different. Anyway, let me just talk about car again. Because some of them ladies and boys want to show them I can... The might say he talk like today's car, but my show is about everybody thing, eh? Yeah. We're we'll gonna talk about sewing in the next episode. No, we won't talk about sewing. What? I come back with my back and on the next episode. What is that one about? I can't tell you that. Alright then. Well, wait for the next episode. And we hope you enjoy the food today. Try your recipe. Hope you like the little talk, the little back canal. Support the channel. <laughs> Don't forget, all the support the channel. Please support the channel. Think tough. Support the channel. <laughs> that was easy. You know what I'm going to say? Why you always say that for? Why you don't want to support your channel? You know? Yeah. Support the channel. I'm going to say that again. Support the channel. Wait then. Yeah. Wait! Now time to go. I better things to go and do. I got mine two goat and two money cool. Yeah. Eh? You curry the man shoot. Hey, good, real expensive boy. Mm-hmm. Man selling. I see on the highway up in arm, Princess Kong Day. Goat. Seventy-five dollars and pong. How much pong you would like, sir? None today? I will see you next week. <laughs> yeah, sir. If people buy a baby, go to me. Yeah, but my name when you get big. We go play with them nice. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Uh, what what flavor for you? Yeah, I buy a baby good fast pet. I buy it for your belly. No, not. I buy some toys. I go buy a girl baby good. Buy, no, and a boy buy baby good. Boy. And make sure, eh? I go. And I go make sure. And I go. And who gonna cut grass when the rain falling outside? Then we go eat the grass outside. And when somebody pass and snipe it, poof. Well, you can't snipe them, them good. And you know my father baby good? How much? Must be about five, six hundred, maybe. Better than buying ten pounds of goat and pay about, about how much money? Uh, no, it must be more than that. No, a whole goat selling for about five thousand right now. No, but a baby goat, not a big one. No, a baby goat might be about a thousand dollars. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Ah. Anybody have any baby goat to give away? Don't give shy none, because I will eat it. Are you going to give me one, please? Anybody have baby pirates to give away? Just asking. I'm looking for a baby pirate to give giving away. Here you would, eh? Given away. <laughs> Can I have my order? Well, so I have a big parrot and they're giving it away now. Take yeah, I'm taking them. Anybody have a parrot or know anybody giving away a parrot? I'm looking for a parrot. Call me. The number is? 271937. I'll see you yourself. Only three parrots, eh? No yeah. expensive parrots. Yeah. I, can't, I can't afford to buy a parrot because. A parrot? No, no, I want to eat 900. Yeah, yeah, boy, I can't, I can't afford that right now. But I want one. Does anybody have, a, have one given away? For free. For free. This child is only about free. <laughs> All right then. So thank you for watching the channel. We hope you enjoy it. And when the video is going to be long, or the like all the long discussion videos, or the leave on the comment, tell me about all the first car, and tell me how hard all the work and buy all the first car. My child. Right? Leave it in all the alarm. Comment and say when I was well, 16 years, I buy my first car for five thousand dollars or six thousand dollars. Yeah. And it, it work real good with it. Like, he thunder like mm. man. Yeah. Man, he real thunder. Real thunder. Hey, hey, hey. You wanna match with the boy first, car? Uh. 
Yeah. yeah. And are you bent with the drive? But you can't tell them. No, me, what? Tell them pass, tell them pass. Let me go, let me go. Bye, bye. Alright, go on, eat and bathe and watch TV. Then we don't want to cap bye, it. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, so. Bye. We go on. Bye. Look, Sam. Bye, 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 It's true. 